Hey guys, welcome to my video. So tonight's video is on this quantum motor. I've done um, quite a few little videos on it, uh, but tonight's just about this new circuit. So I just got this all built uh, with the new mount plate and everything, and um, have the coils separated right here. So we have one side and the other side and split wires. So this is still a Hall Effect circuit. And then we have MOSFET and then we have the diodes that are arranged for uh, SG output or generator mode output. So just the switch here. And then we have the on and off switch. And um, yeah, this this is the Adreno right here. So just like my PWM I sell on my site is um, all built into it. I have a nine volt um, um, voltage controller right there. So we could run this up to 24 at the moment and uh, we've got a driver chip and all the optos and stuff like that as usual so yeah pretty pretty nice and um, this um, third output here well we have all these inputs but this one right here is designed where you could take out half your coils and put it right here and then it actually just comes straight down to the bottom so you have an AC output of um, half the coils um, just for experimenting and stuff like that so yeah pretty neat so um, and then I have my usual output white and yellow input black and red so we have 24 volts and charging 24 volts and um, this is one of my bigger cap dumps um, this is 48 volts so I could go from 12 to 48 and um, I have the 36 volt zinger in there right now so it'll be triggering right around 36 volts and um, this will be the voltage of the cap and here's our charge battery and um, yeah well, we fire it up so you can see the pulse work work pulse width work in there so it's super smooth and right now we're using half an amp and then here's our output charging up so even at full power you know with no load it settles really well and then uh, as we load it up the output actually starts increasing with it but it's a lot of torque and uh, we could also adjust the timing on it so make it go a little bit faster just by adjusting this so that's probably optimal speed without load and the input is very very minimal on it so it's pretty cool but yeah I just want to do an update on it and I continue doing experiments but uh, this timing plate really changes things so you go from here it's probably the most high speed and then back it off and you really hear it kind of low down but there is kind of a happy medium right there that uh, really charges well and runs nice so this should really be adjusted to whatever you load you're going to be running on it and because um, a lower speed this timing might be um, too much or too little so you just have to adjust it so that's your highest speed right there really strong so that's about two amps right there on that big 7 8 shaft so yeah it's coming right along so hope you guys enjoy the video don't forget to check my store and thanks for watching